Hi, it's author Ellie Alexander, and I'm so excited to share another Five Things Friday with you. This week, I am at one of my very favorite places on the planet. I wonder if you can guess where it is. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another Five Things Friday. I am so excited to be at my favorite place on the planet, a library. <laughs> I'm here with Carrie May, who is the director of Jackson County Library Services. Thanks so much for being here with me. You're welcome. I'm so excited to be able to share my favorite things about my libraries. Me too. So I have to share first that growing up, the library was my special place. Every Friday afternoon after school, my mom would walk my brother and I down to our local library and I would come home with a stack of books like this, devour them over the weekend and be ready for a new stack the next week. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, when I was a kid, I, I decided one year to read 100, uh, 365 books in the year. Oh my gosh. And I knew I couldn't read 365 different books because I couldn't take a stack home large enough. <laughs> right. So I would sometimes read the same book a couple of times before my mom could get me back to the library. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I thought I was impressed with myself because one summer when I was 12, I decided I'd read all of Agatha Christie's work. But Ooh. that's not 365 books. That's impressive, yeah, Carrie. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a nerd. <laughs> uh, me too, but that's a good thing. And then my son, Luke, we, when he was born, we would go down to Book Babies every mm -hmm. week, and he was actually the Book Baby cover mm -hmm. for the library's flyer, um, and I just think it's so important to ignite readers at a young age. Absolutely. You're so lucky to get to do that. Okay, so without further ado, let's go right into what your librarian wants you to know about the library. What is your number one, Carrie? My number one is that I believe that everybody should have a library card. Ooh. And I think regardless of how old you are, where you are in your life, we have something at the library for you. And if you don't think you do, come see me and I'll let you know what we have for you. I love it. There's your challenge. Get a library card. <laughs> okay, what's your number two? As you might know, here in Jackson County, we just celebrated our 100th anniversary as a library system. So that means in 1919, a group of people came together and said, you know, instead of having a library in each community, what if we pooled together and had one library system for all of Jackson County? So we just celebrated 100 years. We have 15 branches now, and we're poisoning ourselves for the next 100 years. I love that. And kind of dovetailing off that, what do you think makes the Jackson County library community unique? You know, we really support our libraries here in Jackson County. We really see the libraries as a heart and soul of our communities. And I really, I think that that's something we embrace in our libraries. We don't try to make all 15 of our branches the same. If you go into each one, you know you're part of the same system, but each of them has their own local flavor. Yeah, that's so true. Love it. Okay, what is your number three? The libraries have something for everything. This mm. is related to that first one, but we, just this recently we launched our library of things which means we have more than just books and movies. Now we have everything from air fryers to ukuleles. <laughs> <laughs> I really need a ukulele. So before I leave today, I'm checking out a ukulele. <laughs> we'll be happy to do that. <laughs> and how did that come to be? Well, we went to a library conference last year and there and they had a program on the library of things that other libraries in the state have started. And we said, you know, how would that work in our community? And we came back and really thought about what our community might want to check out from our library of things. And so we did, we have some um, metal detectors, the air fryer I mentioned, Instapot seems to be really popular. Ooh, yeah. um, board games, things that people might not use a whole lot, but might need occasionally. Sewing machines is another one that we have. Um, and so we just said, Let, let's try it with a variety of things, see what works, see what is popular, and then also take recommendations from the community of, of you know, what, what we might consider in the future. That's so cool. I do draw the lines at chainsaws, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, the mystery writer in me is like, uh -huh. well, you yeah. know. <laughs> Why do you want that now, Ellie? <laughs> <laughs> do tell. <laughs> okay, what is your number four? My number four is that the Jackson County Library District, as we look at the next hundred years, we do have a secure funding source for our future. Mm. Five years ago, the community, the voters voted to make us an independent library district. So for people who have been around Jackson County a while, they'll remember our libraries closed in 2007. Right. But in 2014, with the passage of the library district, that secured us as our, a secure funding source into the future. So that ensures that we can be here for the next 100 years. Yes, and that speaks back to the whole idea of how important libraries are to our community here in Jackson County and how lovely it is that we have that support financially moving forward. 
Yes. That's huge. In fact, that just worked its way into a recent book. Um, not actually the 2007 closure, but back in the 1980s, there was a mm -hmm. big closure right. due to funding, too. And yes. Libraries troopered on, so yay. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, what is your number five? So my number five is that librarians do not get to sit around and read all day. However, we do like to read. <laughs> and so if you'd like, I can tell you what my top five favorite books are. I would love to hear your top five favorite okay, books. So, and it's sometimes more than five. So forgive me if I, if I exceed the five. But <laughs> number one is Possession by A.S. Byatt. It's a literary romance between two Victorian poets, Ooh. or who discover, two modern poets who discover a secret love relationship between two Victorian poets. Oh, I'm so, adding that to my TBR stack. By okay. A.S. Byatt is number one. Also, Middlemarch by George oh. Eliot is a classic. More recently, A Gentleman in Moscow oh. by an author I can't pronounce, uh, Amor Towles. Yeah, yeah. Difficult my sister loved that book, I think. Okay. Yeah. Peace Like a River mm. by Leif Inger. Okay. And number five is whatever book I'm reading now because there's always a good book, and you never, I never stop reading because the next good book is always out in front of me. Absolutely, but then being in a library surrounded by so many books, is there pressure to feel like, oh my gosh, I have so much reading to do? Every day. Yeah. That's why I'm a little sad that we don't get paid to read all day. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me into the library today and for sharing your five things, Carrie. I actually learned quite a bit. And for readers out there, I want to know in the comments below how many of you have your library card. If you don't have a library card, follow Carrie's advice and go get one this weekend, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and visit your local library. You never know what you might find, an air fryer or a metal detector. <laughs> and of course, stacks of awesome books. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me for another episode of Five Things Friday. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified whenever I share new videos. Happy weekend.